What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this image right here. First and foremost, all credit for this technique and the inspiration for this image goes to Tim Gamble. Tim creates incredible light painting work. If you're not familiar with his work, you should absolutely check it out. He is uh, Tim Gamble on Facebook and Fade to Black Light Art on Instagram. So, let's talk about the tools that I'm gonna use. The tools that I'll be using are the black fiber optic from Light Painting Brushes, the uh, Universal Connector, and the Soonfire DS30 flashlight. I will link you to the latest version of this flashlight down below if you want to check that out. As you can see, the end of the fibers are glowing different colors, and that is because I've got a couple different gels here, a couple different Roscoe gels. I've got blue and purple gel kind of just pushed into the end there, and what that does is that will make the blue and purple Kind of come out the end. Now the other tool that I'm going to be using is the Roscoe Mix Book. This is a digital swatch book. This is a much more convenient and updated version of the old school swatch books where you would kind of flip through and find the color that you want to use. Um, the Mix Book connects to an app on your phone. You can literally project and test out any of the Roscoe gels in their entire lineup through the app on your phone attached to this light which will change color and it will, it will project out the color that the Roscoe gels would produce. I will be using this light right here to illuminate uh, from the sides of the tinfoil impression, and then I'll be using the black fiber optic just to add a little more illumination and color to the scene. Let's talk about what we're gonna use here as far as uh, the tinfoil. First and foremost, just gonna tear off a piece of this, like so, kind of scrunch it up a little bit. So you kind of just scrunch it up like this. And this is gonna give you a nice texture all over the aluminum foil. And then you can just use the table here to kind of flatten it out, like so. And what you'll see, what you'll see here is you get this, you get this nice kind of texture look that is evenly dispersed through the entire piece of aluminum foil. If you're just using tin foil right out of the box, you're gonna have kind of a narrow piece so uh, another thing that you can do is just take a couple pieces like this and just tape them together. The first thing that I did was I tried to do my hands. So to do that, all you're gonna do is simply put your hand on a hard surface like so, start pressing the foil around your hand. And there you go. So you can kind of see that, I don't know if you can tell, but we have like a mold of my hand there. So that's the first thing that you can do using you know, your hand, you can do this with your face, you can do it with uh, whatever you want. One of the things that I found that worked really well was a skeleton. This is just an old Halloween decoration, and because the skeleton has such a, it's a hard, a nice firm surface to mold onto, so it was pretty easy to actually mold the face or the skull here. So I just push it down on there, and again, the important part here is um, with the little spaces and stuff, you just want to be be careful not to break the aluminum foil. So you wanna be, you know, it's a delicate process. Take your time. Don't try to rush through it because then you're just gonna tear the tin foil and you gotta start all over. So just, you know, nice and easy, kind of mold around things. And the more time you take with the mold, the better off you're gonna be. Once you do get it and you're feeling good about the, the mold that you have, then what we're gonna do is turn off all the lights the settings that I'm gonna use are ISO 100, F16, shooting on bulb mode. My exposure times are probably gonna be between 20 to say 40 seconds or something like that. Um, right in that 30 second range is where I think I'll be on this. Uh, I'm gonna be using the mix book to illuminate from the sides, like so. And then I'm going to come in with the black fiber optic and just kinda of add some more light effects to the uh, to the mold here, and then I'll show you exactly how I created that full light painting. Okay, so I've gone ahead and laid out the tin foil on the table as flat as I could while maintaining the integrity of the skull shape from the mold I took of it. I'm gonna go ahead and run through an image now. The settings that I'm using are ISO 100 at F16, shooting on bulb mode. The exposure time should be right around maybe 30 seconds. All right, so I'm starting the exposure and I am illuminating using an orange gel from one side of the mold. 
Now I'm gonna change the color, go to pink, and illuminate from the other side. And now I'm just gonna come in with the black fiber optic and add a little bluish purple hue around the mold here. With the black fiber optic, it just illuminates on the ends and I'm able just to press that down and get some color around the mold. And that should be good. I'll go ahead and stop the exposure and we'll see what we have. That is one way to use tin foil or aluminum foil in your light painting photography. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to say thank you very much to Tim for the inspiration. Um, he's really a, a constant source of inspiration for me and I'm sure a ton of other light painters around the world and just artists and photographers in general that follow his work. If you don't know Tim's work, please go over and give him a follow on Instagram. Again, fade to black light art. I will put the links down below. Really some incredible and inspiring stuff. Um, I did reach out to Tim to make sure he was cool with me sharing his technique and making a video about it. So thank you for the blessing of allowing me to share this technique and make the video, Tim. Do appreciate that as well. And I'm sure, you know, anybody that learned something from this appreciates that too. So thank you very much. I want to say thank you to Jason Reinhardt as well for also inspiring me to do this uh, and try this technique with the weekly photo challenge in our light painting brushes tips and tricks group. I'll put a link to that group down below if you guys want to join us and follow us over there. Um, a lot of creative and inspiring stuff going on in that group as well. So thank you again to Jason Reinhardt for kind of motivating me to, uh, to do this. Well, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. A lot of crazy stuff happening in the world right now. But uh, wishing everyone safe, happy, prosperous 2020. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.